An update to a story you first heard on Fox 16. 23-year-old Breeden Wynn first made headlines after breaking into a Conway church and causing thousands of dollars in damage. At the time, he was homeless and he suffered from a severe drug addiction. Our Michael Esparza visited Wynn to hear how he's getting a second chance from the people he once victimized. Things just went from bad to worse that night. 23-year-old Britton Wynn recalls the cold February night when he broke into Central Baptist Church. I don't think that I picked this church. I believe God picked me because I, I was not strong enough to pick myself up out of my addiction. High and enraged, surveillance footage shows Britton smashing glass and even using a fire extinguisher to cause damage. There was quite a bit of physical damage. But fast forward eight months, and there's a different man walking around that very same church. Today I can look back and I'm thankful that I was in those situations because uh, I am completely restored. I baptize you now, my brother. In the, name the church baptized him in front of the entire congregation, showing that it's never too late to be forgiven. It's, it's never too late to change. I thought that I had... I had gone too far for God to even love me. While forgiveness doesn't usually come easy, it did for this church, thanks to a rehabilitation center called Renewal Ranch. This is a story more than anything of grace and redemption and a story of just new life that is offered to us through a relationship with the Lord. Britton says Renewal Ranch is helping him make his way back. First, it starts with forgiving yourself, and uh, then you can go and try to right other wrongs. Now an active member of the same church he once tried to destroy, he's giving back and showing love. Renewal Ranch saved my life. Reporting in Conway, Michael Esparza. Mm -hmm. Well, Wynn has already served four months in jail and his felony charges still stand. But the judge has ordered that he return to court after graduating from rehabilitation, which will be in March of next year.